On August 22, 1943, Dr. Robert Stevenson, a British metallurgist, examined a failed transmission gear from a captured Tiger tank at the School of Tank Technology in Chobham, England. The gear was massive, eight inches in diameter, made of hardened steel, and yet it had shattered completely. This wasn't the first Tiger transmission failure Stevenson had seen. In fact, every captured Tiger tank had suffered mechanical breakdowns, especially related to the transmission. The German Tiger tank was supposed to be invincible with a 700 horsepower engine and 100 millimeters armor. However, its transmissions couldn't handle the stress of combat. They were prone to catastrophic failure under shock loads, often making the tank immobile in battle. Stevenson's tests revealed that the transmission gears were too hard, measuring 62 Rockwell C hardness, creating brittleness and making them prone to shattering. The case depth of the gears was also excessive, further weakening them. Stevenson's findings were sent in a report to Major General Percy Hobart, who recommended that Allied tank commanders exploit the Tiger's weaknesses by forcing aggressive maneuvers. In combat, this tactic proved effective. Tigers frequently broke down due to transmission failures, rendering them useless before they could engage the enemy. By 1944, it became clear that the Tiger tank's design had a critical flaw. The pressures of wartime production led to shortcuts in manufacturing, resulting in unreliable tanks. Stevenson's analysis not only helped defeat the Tiger, but also influenced post-war tank designs, ensuring better transmission reliability.